So you want to be an I.O. psychologist, you have to get into grad school. Uh, unfortunately, students at York seem to be ill-prepared uh, uh, to apply to graduate school. Uh, the psych department offers grad school workshops about once, once a semester. I would strongly recommend that you go to that. Uh, we generally tend to announce it. Uh, you know, professors will announce it in class. Uh, there'll be a poster up by the office. Uh, you know, email somebody and find out when it is. Also, during advisement, when you go into advisement for your classes, talk to your psychology professor about grad school and what you should be doing. Uh, you need individual help, so do that. Now, let me give you some non-individual help. Uh, you know, the important things you need to think of are these. First of all, GPA. Uh, a lot of students believe that if your GPA is above 3.0, you can get into grad school. That's not true. Uh, most grad schools have a lower cutoff of a GPA of 3.0. That means if your GPA is 2.9, they will not even look at your application. However, you know, the GPAs of people applying to grad schools are like 3.8, 3.9, 3.99, 4.0. So if you have a 3.0 and everybody else has like above a 3.5, do you really think that uh, the grad school is going to look very carefully at your application or just look at your GPA and put it in the rejection pile? So really seriously, you need to have a GPA above 3.5 uh, and the higher the better. So it's very important to protect your GPA uh, always pay attention to the last day to drop with a W because a W does not count on your uh, transcripts towards your GPA. If you drop after that date, it's a WF. So keep that in mind and use your GPA to really gauge whether or not you'll be able to get into a graduate school. The second thing is the GRE and there's the link to the GRE website. Uh, the GRE is essentially the SAT and you have to take it again to get into most grad schools. So uh, yeah, and you have to score high again because people are getting really high uh, GRE scores and they're applying to the same programs you are. In the psychology office we have the uh, APA's catalog of uh, psychology programs and you can go and look at that and what they do is they list not only the GPA and the GREs that the grad schools require as the lowest possible, but they also list the average GPA and the average GRE scores of the incoming graduate school class. And so, for example, a grad school may say, well, our lowest GPA we accept is a 3.0, but then their average uh, GPA of one of their uh, incoming class members is a 3.8. So that is very important information. Then you need three letters of recommendations uh, and these letters of recommendation must be from professors who can talk about you you know individually. They have to know who you are. Uh, one mistake a lot of students make is they ask adjuncts uh, to write them a letter. Uh, you know a graduate school uh, you know uh, selection committee will take a look at the fact that it was the letter is written by an adjunct and they'll just discount it. Uh, that's the way academia works. Uh, so you need to have letters from three professors. Uh, also there's a couple other tricks uh, you know or not tricks but traps really about letters of recommendation uh, that you know York students uh, seem to always fall into. Uh, so make sure that you talk to uh, your advisor about actually how you go about uh, doing, a, asking for, and you know, submitting the information for a letter of recommendation. Uh, one way to get that individual letter of recommendation uh, is to work with a professor uh, in independent research. And I'll be talking more about that in just a second. And then uh, finally, it helps to build up your application with other skills and other experiences. So for example, uh, PSYCHI, which is the psychology uh, honorary, the international psychology honorary, if you have a GPA high enough, apply for that. 
uh, it just costs a couple bucks and you know then you remember and you get a nice pin uh, doing independent research for example psych 490 uh, uh, and 491 2 3 4 the 490 series uh, allows you to do in research independently with a professor and also the 290s the psych 290s the placements uh, that's also uh, that would be better than not doing it but uh, if you have other things to do uh, you know definitely the independent research is more important I seem to be really focusing on independent research and yes it, it is important uh, most of the professors, most uh, you know, of the professors in the psychology department do independent research with students. I, I almost say all of them, I think. Uh, and so, if you uh, like a professor, like their uh, research, ask them uh, before advisement. Ask them uh, if you could do research with them the next semester, because you sign up for an independent study to do research like any other class. So you have to have that all set and into your schedule of classes before you actually have to register. Uh, so uh, I do uh, some IO research even though I'm a social psychologist. I'm playing around with my uh, cord and it's probably making funny noises on the microphone so I should stop. Uh, so let me describe my IO research uh, to you. Uh, one project I'm doing is the uh, research on the social presence uh, in online uh, classes. and uh, uh, you know, this is in the area of organizational behavior. Uh, you know, not really I/O in terms of like testing or measurement or something like that. Uh, over the last year, uh, Rudolph and Liz, as you see here, uh, did a research study and they presented a poster at York's Research Day and at the uh, Neuron Conference, which is the New York State Undergraduate Psychology Conference which was held at Hunter College, which I think it's held at Hunter College every year. Uh, and this allows me to get personal interactions with the students and write strong letters of recommendation. Uh, Rudolph uh, got accepted to two paying research positions uh, based on the letters that I wrote, you know, in part, based on that in part. Uh, my research on social presence is in online classes like in Blackboard, you have discussion. Uh, what elements of the discussion lead to better outcomes for the students? Uh, and one element that leads to better outcomes is the idea of social presence. How much, pre how much socially a student is discussing things on uh, Blackboard? It's a little hard to describe uh, briefly, but if you are like a real person on a discussion board and talk about how you feel or what you think and you talk to other people directly in your post uh, that's more social presence and in the research study they did we coded blackboard discussions and correlated them with uh, you know student outcomes and the student groups the discussion boards which had more social presence those groups did better on their assignments and this research project, if you'd like to do it, uh, you need to commit to two semesters. And I need a pair of students to do this uh, because uh, you know they need to code uh, the discussions. And you always need to work with a partner to code discussions. Uh, but if you're interested, uh, talk to me about this. Uh, another uh, research project for an independent study uh, is uh, Wikipedia editing. Uh, psychology and IO psychology are concerned about uh, what Wikipedia says about psychology and so we've started a Wikipedia initiative uh, to edit uh, psychology and IO psychology articles on Wikipedia to make sure that they're uh, you know uh, that they're accurate and also that they're very representative. Uh, pictured here is Arlene Best uh, she was a research student of mine uh, who was working in another area of uh, research with me. Uh, by the way, Arlene was the 2008 valedictorian for the whole college. Uh, in her honors thesis, uh, she did a research study on advertising wear out. And if that sounds familiar, that's where I got the idea for the top 10 question. That was her study. So you know a lot about that. And uh, 
you know, advertising wear out is definitely not one of my areas, but it was an area she was interested in. And so she, we talked and we, we did her honors thesis on it. And if you're interested in the area, uh, you could come and talk to me and we could possibly do an independent study on the area you're interested in. And also I have other research uh, in social psychology. My research is on attribution of blame and accidents and sexual assault. Uh, again, I'd like you to commit to two semesters of independent study with me. And uh, here we see Cherry in the uh, left-hand side. She's presenting a poster at uh, York's Research Day. She also presented it at the uh, Neuron Conference. Uh, and this is on one of my experiments about three years ago. And uh, the picture here is from this spring. That's Liz again and me. Uh, that poster is being presented at the Eastern Psychological Association. Uh, which is a professional poster session, not a student poster session. Uh, and uh, so if you're interested, contact me. And my other area of research, uh, I'm doing research now in media fand uh, fandom. Uh, people who are Trekkies or Big Lebowski achievers. Uh, you know, I'm looking at right now an experiment looking at uh, the different political beliefs of people in different fandoms. And also, I'm kind of interested in starting to look at the psychology of cosplay. People who dress up uh, as their favorite characters at, uh, you know, Comic-Con. And then other research, again, student-driven. Uh, you know, several years ago, uh, Nadia Aziz and Rena Rafley uh, came to talk to me about they had an idea for a project looking at group uh, guilt in Muslim Americans. Uh, and this is a social psycho psychological topic, so we did research on the area. And uh, before they graduated, they finished the pilot study for their uh, experiment. Uh, there's uh, Reno uh, on the left and Nadia on the right. And I forgot, Reno was also the college valedictorian a couple years ago. And she was also invited back to uh, give the talk to the uh, uh, Dean's List reception last year. So, uh, you know, just a couple examples of the research I do that you could help me out with. And also, uh, not just me, but as I said before, more or less every single faculty member uh, in the department does research with students. So if you're interested in other research areas, contact the professor that you like the most. And thank you and good luck with your exciting future.